So it was kind of a chaffle kind of day. I am finally getting on the bandwagon. I'm late to the chaffle party, y'all. Hey, y'all, hey. Erica with Time to Shrink. Good morning, good morning. It is a new day. We are going to do a what I eat in a day today. What do I eat on keto to lose weight? I am starting with a coffee. This is just coffee, a couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, some stevia, a few iodine drops, and some cinnamon. So that's what I'm sipping on. I'm going to sit down real quickly and look over my meal planner. I've already put my face on for the day. I've got to take a little man to Charlotte, which is a couple hours away for a doctor's appointment. So I'm going to sit down, get myself organized, and then we're going to throw together like a small little to-go cooler to take with us. Let's do this day, y'all. Like I said, I was just going to sit down and look over what I have for the day. Throw in a quick little cooler together. This side is quesadillas for my son, and this side is a couple of chicken and cheese quesadillas that are on a low-carb wrap for me. Went ahead and threw in some Duke shorty sausages and some Max pork rinds just for variety. I may eat some of this. I may eat none of this, but I'd like to just have it. Real quickly before we leave, I'm going to throw a Zip Fizz in my cup and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Y'all, it's about two o'clock and we're back home in my jammies, just chilling out, filming some stuff, getting some stuff done. I haven't had anything other than the zip fit. I just wanted to jump on and say, hey, but I'm just, I'm not feeling hungry and I'm not gonna force myself to eat when I'm not hungry. I'm really focusing this month on intuitive eating. I'm not logging, I'm just watching my carbs and trying to make the next right choice that's how I'm eating right now so that's what's gonna be reflected in today I only had about half of that coffee that I made I just wasn't feeling it dumped it out and started on the zip fizz gonna start in on a second zip fizz and then I will check in with y'all in a little bit and make some chaffles I got a new chaffle maker waffle maker but a cute little pumpkin one I can't wait to show y'all so I'm gonna try out my chaffle maker, y'all. I just got this. Mine is shaped like a pumpkin on one side and like that on the other side. So this is going to be like a sweet one. I've tried just the egg and cheese ones, but I've not tried a sweet one. So this is what's going into it. Two tablespoons of cocoa, two tablespoons of the powdered Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, a tablespoon of cream cheese, one egg, a little bit of baking powder. I'm gonna do a splash of vanilla. All right, let's see how this goes, y'all. I don't know how to get the cream cheese fully incorporated unless we throw it in the little blender. So we're gonna buzz this up before we put it in. I think that's gonna mix it better. So I'm just gonna dump everything in here. This recipe was really for a peanut butter chocolate, but I did not have peanut butter powder, so I replaced the peanut butter with the cacao powder. So, you know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's edible. All right, y'all, this is not working out super well. <laughs> we tried to salvage as much of the batter as we could. It says it's green and hot and ready, so. Let's see what happens. How cute is this little chaffle, y'all? I cannot wait to make like a pumpkin flavored one. All right, we're just gonna taste it like this. That was really good. Yum. It's too sweet. It's really, really good, but it's really sweet. I think I would use half the amount of sweetener that she did next time, but it's really yummy. I'm gonna let Caroline try it. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. I usually like sweeter stuff than my mother does, so I'm probably gonna like it more. It is a little sweet, it's really sweet. Um, cause with the keto or like non-sugar sweetener, it tends to be sweeter than normal sugar I found. Um, and even if it's not sweeter, it has a weird kind of taste to it. Don't you think maybe half the amount of sweetener next time? Mm-hmm. But it's good, right? With a caramel drizzle would be really good. That would be good with caramel. Super cute. And then we've got enough to probably make at least one more. It's probably enough to make three if we'd gotten it all out. But I wanted to try just the, the regular truffle too. So it's just cheese and egg. So I think you mix some of your cheese with your egg. And then they said you can use any seasonings you want, but we're just gonna go basic, basic since we haven't tried this before. And then this has already been sprayed. We're gonna spray it again. You're supposed to put a little bit of a layer 
of the cheese down first and let that start to crisp a little bit or cook down a little bit. I think I'm gonna go like I did with the last one and use this little teaspoon or the tablespoon measure and do two. Mm -hmm. That might have been too much. And then you're supposed to put some cheese on top. There we go. And we'll let that go for a few minutes and we'll see what it looks like. And I probably should have set a timer for like three minutes to check it. But what I've heard somebody say is just to watch it. And when it hasn't been steaming for 30 seconds, then you know you're done. Because you want these to get extra crispy. So it's way longer than you would normally do a waffle or longer than you would do a sweet waffle as well. So here is our first plain egg and cheese one. Looks like a waffle on this side and looks like a little pumpkin on this side. I think these are fine. I mean, it tastes like egg and cheese. It doesn't taste like bread to me. People keep saying that they taste like bread and I see how they're a good bread alternative and you could totally make like a sandwich out of them, but it still tastes like egg and cheese to me. Let's see what Caroline thinks because Caroline has never had one of these before. Isn't it so cute? Okay. I heard the crunch. A good crunch. What you think? I think you're wrong. You think, think I'm wrong? It tastes a lot like bread. It tastes a lot like bread to you? Awesome. Like it still tastes like, like you can see the cheese pool. Yeah. So it still tastes like cheese and egg. That was a really satisfying cheese pool, by the way. <laughs> but like it also has a bit of like a breadiness to it, yeah. in my opinion. So okay. Good. All right. Well, we're going to keep working on these, making some other recipes. Let's see what this one's looking like. He's looking pretty good. Oh, I think okay. he needs to get a little bit more crispy. Jason is a non-social media guy so he has no clue what a chaffle is basically they're taking egg and cheese and making it in this maker and it's supposed to taste like bread right. what you think I, mean, I don't know if it tastes like bread but it's good I don't think it tastes like bread either but can you see how you could use that on a sandwich yeah yeah, yeah. Definitely. all right we have a sweet one this is the sweet one we're gonna let you taste in a minute all right, y'all, this is Jason's snack plate. I'm gonna eat a couple bites of it, but this is homemade pimento cheese that I had made, and he just put it on a chaffle. So I'm gonna taste that pimento cheese on a chaffle. That was really good. Like, really good. Yeah. Yum. That definitely works. That's a winner, y'all. Pimento cheese on a chaffle. I might need to make a pimento cheese chaffle. We might try that too. I don't know. So for the rest of my meal, I ended up just eating the rest of that chaffle with the pimento cheese. It was really, really tasty, and I am completely stuffed. So I'm finishing making them. I found that on this little chaffle maker, I can make three with one egg and cheese. So three chaffles per egg and half a cup of cheese. And then the chocolate one also makes three, if you didn't mess it all up in the beginning like I did and have to scrape it all out. But we live and we learn, right? Yeah did some meal prepping tonight y'all so we have hamburger casserole and a low carb chicken cordon bleu I'm gonna eat some of the low carb chicken cordon bleu the kids decided they wanted a little bit of both and that's fine I also made some pumpkin muffins so I'll probably have one of those for breakfast tomorrow but here is the low carb chicken cordon bleu and this is gonna be dinner for me tonight I don't know let's see what happens all right, we're checking on our chaffle. I put some of my muffin mixture into the chaffle maker. Jackson asked me what a chaffle was. Y'all, I don't know who came up with the name chaffle. Basically, it's a mix, it's a, I don't know, a mixture of egg and cheese usually. Oh, he's cute. So we turned this muffin into, I feel like maybe I should have cooked it even longer, y'all. Let's see. Ha, huh, it's hot. I think I should have cooked it a little bit longer. It's definitely better in muffin form, but it was worth trying. It has good flavor. Yeah. But it's, it definitely needed to cook longer. Hey y'all, it is the next morning. I did not end out the vlog last night. I just had so much going on and I totally forgot. Didn't eat anything else. I had a little bit of that pumpkin chaffle and I had also had about half of the chocolate chaffle. So it was kind of a chaffle-y kind of day. I am finally getting on the bandwagon. I'm late to the chaffle party, y'all, but I just ordered one. I had made it in my regular bigger waffle maker, 
but it wasn't the same. Like I swear having the little guy versus the big waffle maker, it, it changes the texture and everything. It's so much better. Totally on the bandwagon. I'm gonna be coming at y'all with lots more waffle, not waffle, lots more chaffle creations. I'm still not loving the name. I'm not really sure what it means. Does it mean cheese and waffle combined? Is that what chaffle is? I don't know. I don't love the name, but I love the product and I am gonna be playing with it. I cannot wait to get to TJ Maxx or somewhere and get some pumpkin spice skinny syrup and start making like a pumpkin-y one on my little pumpkin maker. I mean, how freaking adorable was that, y'all? Looks like an ego on one side and the other side looks like a pumpkin. What? Anyways, I will talk to y'all soon. I'm sure I will be bringing lots of chaffle creations to y'all soon, trying out lots of different people's things, experimenting on my own. It's going to be really fun. Bye, y'all. I will talk to you really soon.